Hello friends, this is the start of the game. I'm James with Forex Alchemist. We're going to be doing a full game with Zhen Jian, my favorite character so far, on romance mode with legendary everything enabled. So uh, let's get going. I did a guide for Zhen Jian already, first eight turns, um, but I wanted to come back and do a full game where I, yeah, kind of played through the whole thing and played with a little bit quicker pace, spending less time exploring, uh, explaining every individual decision. So, let's, uh, let's go. So, right at the beginning, we are going to fight the Han enemy here. We're going to take a look at our ancillaries. Huh. The area. Extra trade influence? Interesting. Experts leather and an iron sickle for some expertise and satisfaction. All right, well, I haven't seen this thing before, the area. That's kind of cool. We'll take our trade influence. Um, and then you, my friend, you can take the double swords, take the expertise, and I'm not even going to take the armor. He does. How about that? Now we're going to go ahead and jump in here. This is a very simple battle. They only have archers and one weak general. Archers don't shoot at generals. So we can pretty easily run in there. And, uh, yeah, use just our two generals, Zheng Jiang and Kong Qiang, or Kong, yeah, Kong Qiang, Zheng Jiang and Kong Qiang to, uh, to wreck these guys up. So we're going to do just that. For those of you that may speak Chinese, I apologize in advance for my pronunciation, because it's terrible. But I do try, right? I'm not saying... Saying Kong Quan. Alright. And again, this is just pretty straightforward here. Oh, gotta go get that guy. Ching. We gotta take out just a couple more. And then we'll go pull out this guy here. Easy peasy. And we're gonna make sure we kill him. Because we get some extra gold for killing him. There we go. So obviously lost no guys, just like we wanted. Took us two minutes. Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> Leave the bodies as a warning. Should be about 300. Yep. The game's been played. Take they extra gold. Keep moving. And then we will move forward to the town. So, taking out this town, also not a hard battle. We're going to approach it in kind of a clever way, using some of the special stuff from Zheng Jiang. Now go! Seek glory! It will not come to you. Specifically her hidden axes. Which are, yeah, some of my favorite units in the game. Really like the hidden axes. I like General Micro more, but as far as units go, Hidden axes are okay in my book. So. We're going to put our team like right there. Our hidden axes are going to go right there. A little bit wide. And go ahead and start the battle. One, two, three, four, five. 
<clears throat> Pardon me. Um, so yeah, reason that we wanted to stay back here is that we're not, we are um, hidden at the beginning. They don't know where we will be. They can't see any of our units. Their towers can't see my units. So they have uh, elected to just sit near the strongest concentration of their towers, which is a reasonable thing to do. But unfortunately for them, it lets me just waltz in and take the towers away from them. I would like to gain access to this tower as well. Unfortunately, I'm not able to because there is this marketplace right here. And these little dubers walking around, they will find my axemen and alert the defenders. Little goobers that they are. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to take this tower and then we're going to send all of our guys up towards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and take it. Right. Slow it down just slightly. Let's just go there. You should be well on your way. Excellent. And so now you can see that they are coming through. Oh, the G, yes, generally will go that way. All right, we'll speed it up a wee bit. Go in double speed here. We're just gonna run in here and take this tower, which should be done quite quickly. And then we're going to do our best to take out these bowmen. really want to do as much damage to these bowmen as possible. Get in there, do a big AoE attack. Not bad. I'm just trying to make sure that these guys actually don't come back. So it looks like we're going to be in good shape here. The enemy unit flees. What cowards! Okay, now we're just going to run in here. Oh. Let's do a little bit of damage. Good. Give our guys a little bit of a buff. Yep, sure enough, they did come back. Little boopsters. I wish I had Jane in here. Come on. There we go. Look, the enemy run. Craven. We can move these guys up here a bit faster to minimize any losses. Attacks. Expect that they will flee momentarily. Great. That should be it, right? Oh. Keep it up. No, That's not right. quite. Yep. 
There we go. That should be it. Alright, so we lost a few more spearmen than we would usually like. But not a big deal, I think. Yeah, so we lost about 60 guys. Normally we like to lose about 30. We have made ourselves heard. Occupado. So we are going to upgrade ourselves, moving towards the armor for spear infantry. But mostly because we want to get towards reach for extra movement range, flexibility for extra replenishment, and poison blade because it is extremely powerful. Then here we're going to start building our communal workshops. Although before we do that, let's uh, talk with our buddy Zhang Yan. We want to start a trade agreement with him. Let's pay 80 for it this time. A little more than usual because we lost those extra 30 guys. They fight side by side. Your general's bonds will deepen as friends or rivals. Affecting their satisfaction in your service. And we are going to set Chu Gong on assignment characteristics as they to get develop. us some food. Where are my treasures? Then uh, now we can start upgrading our little place. Perfect. All right. Good turn one. Let's move towards turn two. So we're going to do a little loop around. I'm going to try something slightly different this time and go to war with Gao Gan, like right away, instead of futzing about, because I'm not a futz about kind of girl. So here, we've got four food now. We've got an ancillary craftsman, all right. That's fine. Sun Shao. I don't think any. Oops. I don't think any of those people are really relevant to us. No, they're all just level one duders. Okay, so what I want is to talk with my buddy Zhang Yang. Because I've got this food for him. And he's going to pay me money for it. We're going to look for the inflection points in his opinion on things. So it goes kind of like one at a time and then all of a sudden it goes three, four. And so we're like, okay, well that's, that's about where your inflection point is. Just like there is about your inflection point. See how there's a huge jump between 79 a turn and 87 a turn? Perfect. So for 400 and 80 per turn, that'll be 1600 for three food. We're happy with that deal. Take this as a token of friendship. Then, with our 1400, we are going to recruit in Lu Shang, who is going to get a crossbow. And I have a crossbow. Oh, I did. I forgot the tax exemption. I always forget the tax exemption. All right, well, we'll do it this time. Yeah, so we should have done one better there. Having a little bit of extra cash is not too bad right now. Um, and no, we don't want to recruit anybody into Conchion. Not yet. We will in a little bit, though. All right, so now we're going to move forward. We're going to take out that toolmaker next. Moving ahead. Lu lets us fight night battles, which is great. Kill them quickly, then we can go. So we're very happy to have a night battle option.
We are going to bunker down in a tiny little shrub over here. In these guys. One, two, three, four. You're going to go up there. One, two. I like his hat. Three. And then we've got our group five and group six. And so everybody just stacks up on top on top of each other in this bush. Does it make sense? Nah, I mean, not really. But you know, they're just comfy. They're family. Oh, guys, you gotta, you gotta get in there. What? How could there not be room for you in this bush? There's always room for everybody in this bush. 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 Look at this shit. There you go. I knew there was room for you in that bush. You just have to get nice and comfy. And we are going to come in, take that tower, which should allow us to sneak in pretty unimpeded into the base. This tower covers some of the entrance, but we can just kind of strafe around it pretty easily. So that's what we're going to do. Just kind of walk our way in there. Easy peasy. Turn some lights on since it's getting dark over here. Yeah, that's good for now. Oh, ba -ba. He's all excellent. So now I'm bringing these guys in here. We're just having everybody walk. Walking is fine. And we'll put these guys up here. On this path, pretty much everyone is going to be OK. Our generals. can spook their way along. No reason to get exhausted. Zhang is the Energizer Bunny, so she never gets tired, which is pretty cool if you're Zhang. Okay. And our guys have made it past the main barrier there, so... They can eliminate a lot of their silly orders and just kind of spoop on it. All right. And here are these militia. There should be some horses somewhere around here as well, I suspect. There they are. gonna slow things down just slightly because it's gonna be worth moving all of our dudes up a little bit.
can basically play spotters over here. And uh, soften these guys up a little bit with some tarot fire. Our men have been discovered. Looks like most of our bowmen actually can't reach. Only the crossbows can. So we're gonna let these guys settle on here. That's probably very nice for them. There we go. Take heed, warriors. Make ready. Charge. Now we're gonna capitalize on the fact that these guys are sitting with low morale. They're, they're coming to you. Oh, no, they're not coming to you. These dudes aren't coming back. So why don't you just go ahead and grab these last guys. Run in there, Bong Chion. You can do it. There we go. That should be the victory. I think we took no casualties there, which is what we were going for. No, uh, our axe, um, our axes did a reasonable, reasonable job there. They probably just got some lucky shots in. All right, we're gonna occupy this one too. And now we definitely keep taxes exempt. One more turn here. Bring me a report on my holdings. And now with a thousand in the bank. Ooh. And some new armor as well, including a very nice stallion. Plus 20 charge bonus? Yes, please. Authority, huh? Gives extra morale to my retinue. Sure. So I'm gonna add. Bring me my spoils. Add in two groups. I think I'm gonna put in. Um. So I want probably one spear guy with Jang. And I think I want one spear guy with Kong Chian, because he's going to have to face off a bunch of infantry dudes in a little bit. And good luck to these guys. Okay. Yeah, like I said, we could do one more turn of tax exemption, and then we'll be in a nice. Well, we might want to just start charging now. One seventy. Nah, I'm gonna give us one more turn of exempt.
And then last thing, so we did meet a couple of new people. Galgon, I'm gonna change things around on him a little bit because I'm actually going to attack him. And for our friend Zheng Yang, let's see. You get 600 over 10 turns for one food. That's a pretty good rate, actually. It will be I'll take it. Not to seize this. I will take it. And that iron scale, I think, does not apply to our boy. No. We don't have a better weapon for him either. So, we'll have to deal with this. Okay. Cool beans. Dong Zhuo is going to come up here in the turn or so. What do you wish, my lord? We're going to separate Kong Chan outside of the force. Have the people deserted this place? And then we're going to do something a little bit aggressive here. Which is, we're going to run right into Gaogan's territory. Which he's not going to like a ton, but he doesn't have much of a choice. And we're going to stay in here, be recruiting in a bow unit. Oh, which I spent an extra 20 gold or something on, because I could have done it before separating him from... Zhang Jiang. Right. Now, now we're happy with getting our 190. We have a little bit of extra population growth coming, so right now an extra 4k per turn. And we get to select our first upgrade. So, here, the normal one I've been doing is income from peasantry is not a bad one, I must say. Um, it's not very useful right now. I think I'm going to actually go with the military supplies one, because I think that does play a pretty useful role early on. Uh, although we don't need it just at this moment. We're going to be moving around quite a lot. There's Dong Zhuo. So we have two turns to capitalize on him. And now for Zhang, we have Gao Gan. Oh, Gao Gan. It is me. And I'm afraid that you, sir, must be destroyed. You didn't have any friends. And that was a problem for you. So they predict close defeat. We have a couple of, of lancers, which is actually a pretty big deal. Two archers in here, spearmen, axes. Okay, so this is a little bit different than how I did it with the uh, with the expert guide. I think that it will actually get me to the mine close to the same number of turns, and I'll get an extra. Um, Yeah, I'll get an extra. You cannot hold the future of China. Uh, an extra turn of replenishment out of it, which I'm very eager for. 
So, there are a lot of towers in this place. And then there's this big pond over here. So, approaching it from this side seems like the most vulnerable to me at first glance. Definitely. Yep, so we're going to approach from this side. Now the question is, <laughs> can we actually hide? Is that a thing we can do? Please, we don't really have a big group. And just so I'm making sure. Yeah, that does not extend far enough. Okay. Let's set ourselves to fire. Five, four. Yeah. We can hide here. It's a little ways away, guys, but, you know. Not too bad. Alright, let's see if they staff one of their guys there anyway. They do. Bummer. Bummer. Okay. So we're going to try something else that I've been wanting to experiment with a little bit, which is that I don't think that our hidden axes are actually discovered when they shoot. Um, I think that they can shoot from being hidden. So if that's true, then I could just be in a position here where I can just like take these guys out or mostly take them out without being spotted. Wouldn't that be neat? This is the infantry captain. She's got fairly decent armor. Movement. It's getting taken out pretty fast. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have the ammunition though. Nope, I'm almost out. Run, run, you fools. No such luck, I imagine. Have no ammunition. They cannot fire. Nope, got the run out. So 13, can't do it any lower. Oh yeah, I remember this battle now. All right, so they've installed two barricades, so it's actually a huge trek for them to come all the way around. So that means the way that I'm gonna actually win this is by just having Zheng uh, take it herself. Ooh, and if being visible, nope. Okay. Your best is not good enough. Your words are as pathetic as you are. Move out right, so the generals are on their way here. They're forming up to try to keep me outside. I will not be kept outside. Too close. Don't want to get too close, guys. Alright. Jang, this all kind of sucks. So, be careful, huh, sweetheart? Love you. Oh, we got the generals pretty close in here. So 
Oof, we've taken a bunch of damage. Look at that. Get in there, Jen. Jian. Alright. Alright. All the way in. All the way in. All the way in. You can do it, sweetie. Alright. Now you can turn around. Do you intend to keep fighting? As surely as you intend to keep talking! Fine, take that tower. Take it. Take that tower, guys. Ooh, look at that. Alright, that's good. And there we go. You seem to be struggling. Need some help? Oh, how witty. How very witty. Oh, a little bit slow. Coming in there. I need Lou in here. This is turning into a bit of a bloody battle. And our poor axes are getting pretty beaten up, as well as Lou. Reduce the armor of all of the guys here. Break their second set of guys. Alright, and then our spears are here, so I need to then just run straight into the lances. Ooh, I'm about half health with Jiang. That's not good. There we go. There we go. That was way too much health that I lost on uh, Jiang. But, could have been worse. Hidden axes lost a ton of stuff. Oh no, they're getting taken out by this tower. Oh, okay, guys, good. Oh god. No, 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 you gotta be in there. Okay, good. Uh, now, guys, alright. Ugh, Lou. Wasn't paying close enough attention to you. Lost some of your stuff as well. We still have two archery units over there. Yeah, this is a tough battle. Looks like we won. Whew, that was 
hard fought on our poor melee troops. We will claim victory. Our axes, superstars there, 105 kills. Okay, so we lost 100 guys, but we will reclaim some back. Another ancillary. Another ancillary. Um, yeah, I don't think we need the cash here. Happy to keep the level 3 town. And we eliminated the faction. So we definitely need some... healing here. Which we will not be able to get. Or at least not two turns. Unless she levels up. Which, will she level up? No, she's not close, regrettably. She needs 5,000 more. Okay. So, then as far as troops, how should we think about this? Shia Shao, I don't know him. Is that a good reason? My so having a another unit here like spear unit probably is the single most important thing we can be doing is by wins. Uh, yeah you definitely need to be tax exempt for a couple turns conscription oh okay Plus two starting ranks and extra revenue deployments. Well, we should definitely use that to recruit a level five crossbow. And maybe. Well, and maybe another? No, I feel like it would be better to. have instead so I'm thinking about what's over here in the iron line as well as what the long term plan should be I kind of think another spearman is not a bad idea hmm Then again, these Saber Militia are surprisingly stout. I think I'm going to go with them, actually. Yeah. I'm going to get a nice level 3 dude to start out. If I recall, it says the mustering is slightly faster. No. Just extra starting rate. Great. So then we're going to demolish this thing. So we don't want it draining on our population forever. Our cash is definitely going to get low, but that's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah, so we're getting a nice bump here. Hmm. Regrettably, if this thing was done one turn earlier, huh, we would have had a different mission, and we would have been getting our be no upgrade right now. No, I will not give up my ancillaries.
So we got lower construction cost faction wide, which is pretty nice. But yeah, now we have to make 20 turn or 20 minutes, which is a ton. We're going to befriend Zhang Chan. Zhang Yan for sure. And that non aggression pack that he just offered us, I think it's now going to be a whole lot cheaper. Oh. Oh. Interesting, because we've recruited so many units now. Ha! So we're not trustworthy. That's funny. Where are my treasures? That is funny. have not okay so we have to go in this way no no I'm pretty sure that if we if we stay here we can't quite make it part of me wants to try it We'll stay in, staying right on our side and getting one more replenishment in, but I don't think it's going to work. No shame in notoriety. I am at one again. Bring me my spoils. So we're just going to go in the old-fashioned way. No risks. I'm just taking it. Oh okay, yeah, we have all this money from uh, the demolition we did. Makes sense. Hmm. Well, this is actually a pretty good one for us to produce here. I didn't even think about doing it this early, but this would be a perfect spot for it. Yeah. We are going to go with that. Um, so we're making a banditry place here, which gives faction-wide replenishment bonuses. I'm also going to demolish this thing. We just don't need that. And so those faction-wide replenishment bonuses are pretty fantastic. Um, now we're making a little bit of money. We have a tough battle ahead here against these three generals. But we have yes, a strong-ish group of folks here. How is our garrison? medium. Okay. I'm ready for you, Dong Zhuo. Close defeat is the prediction, huh? Alright. Come on in. Let's see what you got. Is just. We should never relent. We shall stand amongst their broken corpses before long. This is kind of the first really tough battle. Although the battle that we had with uh, with Gao Gan was also a pretty tough one. Okay, they're on the good side. So we're going to have our minor spearman unit over there for some of their horsemen. We're going to label them one. Horses are number two. Bows are number five. They're just going to be like right here. Firing at will. Um, also, so for this one, 
our firing arc, we actually want to fight like out here. This is the ideal spot in the room or in the uh, hit range for both towers. So that's where we're going to try to lead them. For example, with our horses. And then we're going to have our main infantry group, number four. And then spear number one is three. Spear number two is six. Four, three. All right. Let's do this thing. Alright, so those horses, those are my targets. Oh, I forgot to relocate some of those guys. Luckily they weren't too far away. These guys. China will revel in your death. Do not waste your breath. You will need it. Destroy them. Prepare. Run. Increase our melee strength. And getting them bogged down right in front here is basically exactly what we want. Those guys are shattered. Awesome. Okay, we're losing a little something over here, but not too much. We're going to come in again. Hit some of these guys. Come on! Surely you could do better. If only wars were won with pretty words. One general broken. Look, the enemy run. Two generals broken. No, but that general just came back. Come on in, dudes. Go guys. Group two. Come on out and yeah, everyone else just keep, keep standing here. Excellent. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. There we go. That's broken. And then for this one, we actually do want to chase down as many of their guys as we can. We're gonna put it on fast motion. These guys are gonna try to escape through pretty tough areas, it looks like. So I'm not sure how much success they'll have. Yeah, these horses tracking down every one of those. Lancers, come on, guys. Yeah, good job. 
And there's this group G over here. Three of these guys left. We're going to get every last one. Hopefully those guys can we'll kick the bucket. Because presumably they have to fly out somewhere where they're being shot by towers, right? Yeah, man. Get shot by towers. The enemy there you go. They were no match. Oh, 100 health. He doesn't have much of a chance to, does he? Surviving for now, though. The enemy there he goes. Flew too close to the sun. Wow. We took every one of them out. Brutal. Close victory, but an excellent victory. Yeah, there were no survivors. One guy. One guy lived. That's right, one of the generals. When justice triumphs, revelry awaits. Yeah, definitely get the cash. It would be unjust to punish them further. Ooh, he's running out to fight me? Fascinating. This is kind of unusual. I haven't seen them do this before. So he's got these really strong cavalry guys this time. Oh yeah, I remember this. These Lancer captains or something like that. Hmm. I like it when they stay in their tower and don't fight me. That makes me much more comfortable. All right, Lance Commander. My goal here is to make sure that Zhang does not get too injured. These guys will all be in the same group for this one. Although, actually, let's make our swords three and our spears four. All right. Here they come. I'm glad we weren't in march mode. <sighs> so there are two bow units, two spear units, and two cavalry units, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> so these are medium lance cavalry. 32 armor, which is pretty good. Let's set these guys at six because I actually want them to focus primarily on the archers. Basically, as soon as they come into range. Shoot. Nothing fancy. Ready. Double time. March at the double. 
We can do something about those Lance Cavalry. Okay. You guys fire on the militia. I'll take out the bows. You can stop. Come on, Lou. You can do it. The men have no ammunition. Draw your weapons. Yeah, I know you're going to get tired, guys, but it's worth it. left. Take a move. No moss. The other guys are kind of a long way away. Catch up with them, Lou. I know it's hard to take those guys out. Good work, though. Makes things much easier for us, the worse off they are. Alright, and that's a long trek, but got speed. Oh, you've only taken out like a couple of these guys. Okay, and these duplices actually aren't that far away. Where's the edge of the map? No idea. Oh, I'll go over there. Let's get at least these guys, Jen. Don't run this way. So this away from your friends. Yeah, run towards your friends. Okay, they made it to the edge. Don't think we could have gotten to them anyway. Boop-pew! And boop-pew. Oh, wait. Unamas? Get him! Gotta get him! Oh! Made it. Close victory, huh? Took even more casualties. Yeah. Jian, the superstar there. 
Ooh. That looks like My it hurt. Legend grows. Uh, we will take the cash over the 3% here. Get rid of them. You've taken countless bribes. I can involve you. No, we're gonna be. We're gonna be. Hmm. We're gonna deepen our relationship with uh, Chukong. We're, we're an honorable bandit. For now, anyway. Alright. So we're going to starve them out for now. Looks like we're in fairly good shape, though. This place is still Yellow Turban Rebellion. And this is Autumn. So yeah, this is still the same turn that I took the iron mine before, and we have an extra city along the way, which is not bad, I hear. Yeah, so it's giving us almost no benefits. I am at one again. And even while tax exempt, we do get the plus, um, the bonus to uh, the bonus to our replenishment. So this is a very good plan. The path is clear. Oh, you little nerd. Marching. You have the march boot on. That means you should not be able to do that. Alright. Alright. This is our last turn of... Uh, I don't know, I guess two turns of reduced costs left. Let's see what we can do. So I think we've taken out all their archers, right? Yeah. Pretty nice. So we're going to go for a night battle. War is good for the soul. Glory, more so. It is as you say, friend. War is our only option. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to come up from behind the tower on this one. So these two towers overlap each other, just like we did last time. We're going to come from behind them. We're not going to even bother hiding, I think. We're just going to take these two guys. Three... Four. And uh, we'll set our we'll set our bowman later. And then we're gonna probably recruit two more guys in to get the bonus to replenishment because we're we need to heal a fair amount here. So this is good. We can just kind of come up here. Oh no. Oh, that's great. One, one shot. Taking some hits now. We need one more. That should be it. Oh, oh, oh. That was way too many guys.
There we go. That looks pretty good. One more volley. Yep, you guys are good. There. You guys are out of range. Oh. Go for the tower first, pals. I like the spirit, though. They stop firing on that the moment it finishes. Okay. Yes. So with that, um, we'll inaugurate group five. Group five, we can take up your glorious position right there. And Everyone except group five. You may go enter this terrain. And uh, yeah, you guys can fire at will. bring you somewhere where you can do maximum damage. You are too pathetic to survive. Shut up and die. Are you still being shot? I don't think you're being shot. I think you're just whining. Get everyone up here. Our comrade is under attack. How are you under attack? Was there like some elves hanging out in the forest? Wait, wait. Our men have been discovered. Stand ready. It looked like there's one of the towers still firing. Like, how did I take all this damage? <gasps> she has a bow! Oh my god. She has a bow item. Oh shit, that was fucking close. That is fucking sneaky. Xian Mingyan. Oof, I do not like you. You are not my friend. You know, sometimes the game is telling you what's really happening. And when it says, hey guys, I'm actually under fire, maybe you should believe it. So yeah, I'm just lucky I have enough health to survive the onslaught. But that's going to make this whole thing a little bit difficult, more difficult. Luckily, my crossbows have not even started firing yet. So, group five. Okay, 
And then remember, we can't get too far here. Yeah, that's about it. Good, they're shattered. those guys again. Good. Shattered. Shattered. Alright. So this is going relatively well since the incident. Part of group four. Go, go. Move out quickly. Our victory grows ever closer. Well, men, stand ready. Shoot missiles. Freeze. There you go. Attend. And I'm just going to find victory here. See if I can capture her and take her bow. Chiamiane. You almost defeated Leave the, bodies as a the great Jack Sparrow. Alright. We worked hard to take it. We should enjoy it. Reach and reach still farther. Aha. That was enough to level up. Which gives us reach. I answer, my lord. Lou also levels up. So she gets closer to the plus 25% range damage. Which is just phenomenal. Alright, so now we have a faction support issue, but it's not the end of the world. And we're definitely going to upgrade our tool maker. Over here, I think we're going to upgrade something else as well. Probably this land's development. Yeah, we don't have enough for... Yeah, so we're going to do this one. Because this is an agricultural place. Um, once we take out Zhang Yan. What else is going on here? Oh! Chu Gong, you also leveled up. Well done, my boy. You're a capable administrator, for sure. But we are going to train you as a secondary commander. In time, my friend. And now we need to create two more units. One is going to be there. And the other right here. And those two units should give us the huge bonus to um, to replenishment, which will be quite helpful. 
because we are beaten to shit right now. To use a phrase. Um. What are these guys? What Dorcas is? One injured dude is causing me eight hostility. So, so mean. All right. He is coming in here. Get the hell out. You little pooper. Have the people deserted this place? All right. Let's see, we have four units. Bring me a report on my hold mm. Healing nicely, although Shi Zhang still has quite a ways to go. Oh wow! Love that increased movement range. She can almost get there. So that means we're gonna just go right to the border. And encamp ourselves. Never yield. Then uh, Kong Qian is going to head over and take out this fishing port. Towards victory. And this is looking great. Yeah, he's going to take one, two, and then it's one, two more to get over to the fishing port once he starts taking the long steps. He's got a pretty big unit, so that should not be too hard. This will start giving more gold shortly. Uh, this place... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and charge taxes here now. I don't love it. Oh, hostile forces draining four thousand people. Man, that guy is that guy is a meanie. Okay, so I'm gonna end the turn here, and this is gonna be the end of part one. So we got just about the same amount that we did in the expert guide. Hopefully we did a little bit faster, a little bit quicker explanations, and we're gonna pick up with part two right after this.